Hello everyone. Yes, I know, it has been two weeks since I've uploaded a video, but I mean, I mean, I did warn you guys at the beginning of the school year that uploads will be uh, becoming very scarce. So, um, yeah, that's my excuse, and uh, it's not gonna get any better over Thanksgiving break, just hope you know that. <laughs> I'll be going to Florida, no, it's not for amusement parks, it's for Thanksgiving awesomeness. So yeah, for today's video, we'll be going over a couple of things. So, um, yeah, there's gonna be a lot happening, but before we get into it, this video is sponsored by my merch store. You guys should go check out my merch store because I, I have some okay designs that you should go buy. That's that's literally it. That's all I want. I just want to promote my merch store. Um, also, subscribe to me, turn on the notification bell, all that kind of stuff. And cool, let's go. Okay, so my last Top of the Dragster speculation video is when the track was being shipped from the maintenance shop to Italy and people were wondering is Intimate gonna retrofit this and everything about that so that was all a month ago a lot has happened in between and actually shortly after I uploaded that Intamin came out with a new model or design of roller coaster um the vertical LSM launch roller coaster and immediately as soon as those videos came up everyone was thinking top though dragster could the top hat get a vertical launch which I'm gonna be honest no, I don't think it's going to get one at all, but it would be really, really cool. And I could definitely see that as being a possibility. So question number one, why would this be good for Cedar Point? How could they benefit and how could it benefit us? Well, for one, for Cedar Point, it could be really good from a marketing standpoint. This is definitely something new for a lot of people that most of us like have not experienced before except if you live in Utah, but you know, no one lives in Utah. So no one has ever experienced a vertical launch coaster before, especially on a 400 foot tall strata coaster. That's gotta be really, really intense, right? And that's what everyone else is thinking too. And if Cedar Point is going to go for that, they for sure know that it's gonna be a good idea because they know that people will go crazy over launching vertically in the air like a rocket ship, you know? And I've always been saying that they're just going to retheme the ride, give it a new name, give it LSMs, and boom, open it. It's a brand new roller coaster, right? Because, you know, it's like the, that'd be a Six Flags thing to do, right? For Cedar Point? But yeah, that's a good idea. So basically, that's what I think is going to happen. What if that theme, the retheme, the new theme could be space? Kings Island, Kings Dominion have a Flight of Fear coaster, which is a very alien space themed ride. And I, you know, Cedar Point could be going in that direction. It would not be a bad idea. With a vertical LSM launch coaster, it'd be like, yo, you're flying into the stratosphere. You're getting boosted like a rocket. And that, that's really it. But you know, it's really cool, right? Basically, all I'm trying to say with it is it adds a new dimension that arrived that no one's ever seen before. Again, unless you live in Utah. Now, no one really wants to hear about that. Everyone is wondering who was going to do this? At first, the rumor was, oh, you know, Intamin's gonna redo it, but then it's like, oh, no, wait, Intamin's not involved with it at all, so what else is gonna be doing it? So it was Premiere, then Mock, who knows? And recently, about a week ago from when I'm recording this, which is on November 20th, the rumor was that Sam Perla is actually carrying out the project, because since the pieces of track are being shipped to Italy, that's where Sam Perla is headquartered. And the original theory was that that was like the closest port to Intamin's headquarters up in Switzerland, but other people are thinking otherwise now with Sam Perla. Now, what is Great Bear's production thoughts? Everyone's been wondering what I've been- actually no one's been thinking that, but my thought is basically no. Sam Perla's not gonna carry out the project. Now, again, the question is, is it too out of the question? No, not at all. Cedar Point has a very good relationship with Sam Perla, especially since now that they're, they have, you know, have a new uh, LSM launch coaster model, but they basically just bought that from Intim, and it's not really something that Sam Perla actually created and developed and designed it themselves. That was something from Intim. So that's, you know, a rumor that's floating around that I don't think is going to happen. And actually, speaking of Sam Perla, they are going crazy fast with that Wild Mouse coaster project. That's crazy. And the Grand Pavilion, too. It's almost comp practically finished. Look at that. That's actually kind of cool. Um, anyways, top of the dragster, top of the dragster. Another thing that I wanted to point out is at some point a couple weeks ago, maybe even a month ago, I know it was like after, like right after they, uh, they closed, like Cedar Point closed for the 2022 season, uh, one of the power tower webcams was pointed straight at dragster, you know, right dead center in the middle, it was pointed straight at it. 
and everyone went bonkers. Something's gonna happen atop the dragster, blah, blah, blah. And do you know what? I think that is actually a sign. Like, you know, they're trying to tell us something. Now, I know I could, I could be sounding crazy right now, but this is Cedar Point. Everything means something because that's how Cedar Point rolls. <laughs> Especially since I last looked at it, which was this morning, it is not- none of the cameras are pointed at Top the Dragster anymore, so could they be working on it? They probably could be. Who knows, they could be repanning it, they could be taking it down, they could be doing whatever they are doing to it right now to the top hat. They, I mean, it could be already demolished as far as I know. Um, I highly doubt it though, because I'm sure some person living in Sandusky would have said something, but you know. It could- it, it probably is, I have no idea, but. But yeah, that just about wraps up this video. Um, but if you have uh, joined this far into the video, I highly recommend subscribing because you clearly do like my content. I do a lot of Top of the Drag speculation videos. Like, seriously, I do a lot of them. Um, but I also do a lot of uh, other content related to like, you know, well, anything I've been to. My home park search books, I do a lot of that kind of stuff. But yeah, back to the video. So conclusion, is Zamperla going to do the project I don't think so. And is Top of Jack going to get a vertical LSM launch? I don't think so. And have I not been uploading a lot? Clearly, yes. Um, I'm, I, yeah, I'm trying to get back on that. But again, very hard with school. Um, so yeah, again, uh, subscribe if you like my content. Go buy my merch, please. Um, you know, my chip for next year is very expensive, and uh, there will be an announcement on that in January. But uh, yeah, also go follow my Patreon. Um, but yeah, that's all I got for you guys today, and I will see you all later. Mm, bye!